In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's all about projects or areas of focus. Hello and welcome to another edition of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you the two different ways to organize your stuff inside Todoist. So this was going to give you how to set up your projects but essentially whether you need to be setting up your Todoist via your projects or whether you should really be setting it up as areas of focus and the two are actually quite different and it really does depend on the kind of work and the kind of lifestyle that you personally have. This really kind of evolves around my whole system which is create a system that works for you and not everyone works in a project-based working environment. Many of us, myself included, really generally are doing the same kind of things every day. I'm a content creator and a teacher. I don't really have specific projects that I'm working on at any one time. So therefore, for me, I have dis discovered that actually organizing my Todoist via areas of focus works better. But for you, it might be better if you work via projects. So in this week's show, what I want to do is to show you how to set up both ways and why and wherefores and so on and so forth. But before we get into to do this, I'd just like to say if you like this video, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into to do and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's start off by looking at the traditional project setup. So essentially what we have here is a set of projects. This is related to my personal life and this is related to my work life. So you can open that one up on a weekend and I can work on my personal projects and I can open up my work project folder <clears throat> and have all my individual projects organized below the work. Now this would be in my opinion the best way to actually organize a project based Todoist system and it works very very well you can organize things so related to the projects and this is really more to do with the way that you organize your setup rather than actually working from on a day-to-day -day basis because of course when we're working on a day-to-day -day basis we're most likely working from our today view or if you're a premium user you'll be using your filtered view so if i close that one up you can you could be working from say today's focus or must do today or whatever filters that you have decided to set up so working from your projects list like that is the traditional way and if you've read the David Allen's book Getting Things Done this is the way that David Allen actually recommends that you organize your to-do lists although to be fair he's more into context and the labels so how and where you're going to be so these are some from our recent demo videos <clears throat> so essentially that's how you would organize your projects now that's fine and it does work and it has worked for most people many people however if I go into my hidden projects which I put in here so I'm going to pull out my hidden projects so just pull that one out I'll put up there I'll put my professional one up here and I'm going to remove put that one into someday maybe here you go you see you can learn just by dragging and dropping you can actually get rid of all those projects isn't that nice that's lovely okay so now if you're working from a areas of focus basis essentially what you would do is you would set up different roles in your life so example family relationships your health and fitness your personal development spiritual and finance now these are just the the standard areas of focus that you may have in your personal life and most people would follow those if you're wanting some ideas for this then just do uh, area, personal areas of focus and professional areas of focus search on Google and you'll find some amazing ideas there. 
And then, of course, you've got the professional. Now, if I was taking my case situation, then I'm a teacher. So I've got to keep contact on my students. <clears throat> I'm also a content creator. I, I manage a number of people. I've got marketing and a sales to work on. So I would create different little areas to work on from here. Now, essentially, as a teacher, I could have prepare next week's classes. Now, essentially, that could be a project in itself. I could have a different project for each of the classes I teach. But for me, this actually works better because I know what I have to prepare. And for me, as a communication teacher, I'm teaching communication skills. I use the same materials for all my students. I'm working with professional level <coughs> executives and we're teaching very specialized types of English like presentation English, email writing, report writing and so on and stuff like that. So essentially for me, areas of focus actually works better. There's very rarely do I have any individual specific projects to work from. So for me, areas of focus just works better. And it's taken me a long time to figure this out and it's something that I'm transitioning towards for ready for next year for my planning for next year. Again here I've got a specific student here called Gina who has an interview. Now I could actually create a project for that if I wish like Gina's interview um, but really there's only one task in there which is just to prepare some interview questions. So I will just have that as a task. So for me, areas of focus makes more sense. But as I said in the introduction, it really does depend on the type of work that you're doing. If you're one of these people such as myself that is pretty much everything is rolled into one, then working from an areas of focus basis is probably going to work better for you than working from individual projects because your projects list is just going to become huge and then it just becomes one of those lists that you, be go, you become numb to. But if you actually do it this way, this is where you can think, right, I need to focus on my teaching today or I need to focus on my students today or I need to focus on my content today. So when you have a little greater choice on the work that you're doing on a daily basis, then your areas of focus, your, the roles that you're doing, is a better way to organize your system. But as I want to really stress, this is entirely up to you and the way that you work and indeed maybe the way that you think. For me, projects don't necessarily work because I don't really have specific projects to work from, but areas of focus is a much better way for me because it allows me to be able to choose what to focus on if I'm working from project view. Okay, that's really all I wanted to cover today. I wanted to give you the choice or to show you there are a couple of ways to organize your projects lists in Todoist. Actually, it's fair to say that you could do this in any to-do list application. But in Todoist, this is how you would set it up. Entirely up to you how you want to do it. I hope you found this useful. I hope it gave you something to think about. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.